I'm Plant Guy. Look, I'm on YouTube, but I'm here at the RV Super Show having a great day. This one is uh, 218,000. This is a 2023 Ultra Brahma. These chairs turn around. And we got 4C, which is pretty nice. Ooh, fuel air conditioning. You got your TV there. You got your stove. Little fridge. Microwave, your command center. And it looks like we got some bunk beds, uh, his and hers. And then you got a TV here too. Lots of storage. And then there's... Oh no, so this is just a toilet. I'm thinking... Oh. There's your shower. Separate shower. Gotta be a bed there. Yeah, it kind of looks like a Murphy bed situation. It's got your basic needs: dining area, your shower and bathroom. I'm assuming. And probably your dining area turns out to a bed. Oh, it's not a wet bath though. It's got his own bathroom, bowl sink, 
little. Actually, for a little, oh, look at the cute scene. Do you know what? Kind of it does feel a little bit more on the side. The side. It's not so lightweight that you feel like it's going to blow over with a little wind. Just to get away for the weekend? Or for maybe a week or two, this would be perfect for what you need. Love the her off guard. Yeah, it's just a little. She wanted to know what we were planning on doing now. Well, because I like to be prepared before I do a video. <laughs> so this is an impromptu. So Kim, what do you think of the RV show 2023? Well, I definitely think it's worth coming to the RV show for sure, because if um, even if you're not planning to buy an RV, just coming to look get ideas to see how they're using things and then just talking with some people who who actually do camping um, has been interesting because some of the things that they've done in their RVs and changed you know just gives you some ideas so in that part it's good um, also some of the products that they have out for RVers are really becoming um, RV functional and what I mean by that is that it's not just for someone to use it outdoors but it, it is really good for somebody who has an RV and you know wants to make the most of their journey or make the most use of something that they um, maybe use on a regular daily basis so I thought that was kind of cool to see some of the products and some new things that we haven't seen before. So we've been here two days I feel that we need another day I do just too. to take the whole thing in and I really we didn't even go through all of the RV stuff mm -mm. so and but, you don't want to feel rushed yeah yeah I felt like today more than yesterday we, were, we felt a little rushed so we were very specific we wanted to see certain RVs and see how they did like the grand design something we always like especially the toy hauler and it looks like the toy hauler that I've always been liking uh, it's just the design got changed a little bit with the bedrooms a little bit too tight so it's almost like okay now I'm not caring for that uh, that model that particular model but it's not like at this point in time we're ready to purchase <laughs> a no. momentum because it's it's out of our budget right now yeah. but it's still good to again get some ideas get yeah. what you like what you don't like yeah. so that when it does become a, a time that you can purchase something that is different than what you're in now then you'll know exactly what you like what you don't like yeah. what you what's important for you to have and what isn't we're definitely liking the colors the color schemes yes. definitely is a big improvement much more modern and updated I'm glad for that no the one thing is like Kim mentioned the different vendors we are uh, coming back home with different products for us to try out we're gonna do reviews on them and if you like it we'll put put a video on it and 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 if it's something that I feel that it's a must-have I will talk to the dealer in order to get a discount code for you guys so like that you can save some money so if you decide to buy it you'll save a little extra money going that route plan to be here next year yeah if it's always in January yeah and it's um, always in Tampa Tampa is a big show and so it is open to the public what is it Wednesday or Wednesdays for vendors I think so it's like Thursday to Sunday but pace yourself you know there is a lot of walking so you know don't just think you're gonna get through it all in one day a lot of good food happen. too a lot yeah. of good food but in addition to what you said it was a good thought as we do take our time in reviewing some of the products that we were given to try please be patient with this we will post it and give you you know an idea of you know how we feel about the product how to install or you know use the product in your RV but um, you just got to give us a minute yeah. to try it out in order to really come to a good conclusion before we post anything but just know this that if we do uh, recommend the product it's because we are personally using it mm -hmm. we personally like it exactly and we're using it ourselves we're not going to recommend something that we don't like 
uh, that we're not using because it's not fair, not to us and not to you guys. So please understand, that's how we feel about things. Mm -hmm. And also, let us know in the comments, you know, what you guys think, you know, and or if there's a certain product that you have a question about, let us know. Nice thing about it is we got some contact numbers that we can call the uh, manufacturers directly that we can ask them those personal questions. So hopefully you'll see more in the future uh, when it comes to the RV uh, lifestyle that we decided to, to choose. So listen, thank you for joining our journey with us uh, when it comes to the RV. The, uh, the one cool thing is that the awning that I'm working on, it's going to be working soon. Yes. So, and I'm going to take some more videos like that. You can see how to take that apart because I know it's not easy. And, but it uh, didn't seem like it was that difficult either. No, so, it sure wasn't. You know, a little snafu that yep. happened yep. when we purchased, purchased uh, the RV after yep. one day yep. didn't turn out to be horrible. So, yep. yeah. So, right before we leave, I'm just going to show you this particular van here, which a lot of people are into the C class. It's a new thing right now. Yeah. So, here, check it out. First of okay. all, there's one thing that even though it's a van, it has awning. So, that part is really nice, especially in the summertime or if it's raining out. You know, you can still put your screen, you it, it rolls down. So you can still have your screen and you're not getting wet because you have your awning out. So you can still get some air in there if you didn't want to, you know, if you're boondocking or if you just didn't want to, you know, run the AC. So that part's kind of So nice. let's check it out here. So like that, you got these seats that'll turn around and they'll slide. So not only it's your command to drive and all that, but as you turn around, there's your like a little office desk and TV. Looks like this swivels. Uh, the one thing I notice here is that this is the only little compartment that you have. You know, some of them have storage up in the head and all that. This one doesn't. It gives you some headroom though, especially yeah. for people who are yeah. taller, like, taller look at than that. me, which is pretty much everybody. Look at that. And I'm standing like <laughs> almost right at the edge of the driver's seat. Yeah. And then let's see what we got here. Wow, pretty clean. Oh, look at those cabinets. Yeah. Like you say, like airplane cabinets. Yes. And then you got the countertop. Oh, there's your command center right there. It's a touch screen pad. You have a wet Let's bath. Oh, it's a wet bath? Yeah. Yep. There's a wet bath there. It gives you a little, a little medicine cabinet. Mm -hmm. Oops, oops, oops. Got not, your... It's not soft close, <laughs> sorry. Just gotta put some bumpers up here. And of course, here is your... Let's see here. Am I allowed to open it? Maybe they have a lock. I think they have a lock. Yeah, so anyway, can... this is your refrigerator. Okay, I'm gonna have Clum open the refrigerator. It's called a special touch. <laughs> so it is a little small, but again, you're not going to <laughs> use this small. just a wee bit small. But you're not gonna use this full time. You know, you're this is for like, you know, yeah, a, a weekend, weekend or away, one week. Yeah. A week away and then you just go and nice you know, little kind getaway. Of stock up. Yeah. Induction. Yeah, one burner. And then you have a lot of the um how would we open this? Special touch. Oh, you push in and then open. <laughs> Clem, I'm just going to have you, you know, let me hold the camera and you come down on this end. <laughs> but you can see there is a lot I of got storage, the easy part. you know, because again, you go, you go deep. Yep. So that part is nice. And this is all the way, pretty much all the way around your, your van. So it and makes you got it a nice. table there. Table that's, that turns and swivels. And if I'm not mistaken, then this actually comes off and then <coughs> excuse me it all turns into a bed and you can open this back here and sometimes i believe they have a screen back yeah, here yeah they sure do and you can open that up and here's the tv yeah pretty yeah, so cute it's not bad for like you know a, a quick bit. yeah have a tiny bit of hand. and that's what people are doing they're getting to these and you can pretty much go anywhere yes a lot of people are getting rid of their bigger rigs because when they go when they want to go into Alaska or other places, they can't get in with the bigger rigs. But something like this, you can get into a lot of state parks and uh, small places that you would not otherwise be able to with the bigger rigs. And oh, Kurt kind of would cool. know nothing about that. That's right. So now, just so you can get an idea, here is the buy now at the RV show. It's 162k, and it's a discount of 28. Otherwise, MSRP is 190. So there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We did. So we'll talk soon. Check our videos out. Subscribe to our channel if you want to know more about RVs and also the how-tos and some product reviews. And don't forget that if you watch our videos, one way to support us is give us a thumbs up down below. 
um, that would really help us a lot and then uh, then from there just share the videos watch it enjoy it give us comments just to Cedar, cedar closet. Detail. I was just going to say, the detail is amazing. And listen to the like, air conditioning. You hear the air conditioning? No. Uh, I hear people talking more than I do the air conditioning. Wow. Very nice. Wow, wow, wow. Look, it's got a lot of storage. Look here, babe. You can tell the difference in the center that it's um, the feel. Tell it's solid, which is nice. Wow. And then right here, look, it has a half bath. So this is where the toilet and the sink would be. Where oh, you do your business. That's right. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, it's kind of outlet right in the corner. I just, I love to see. And these are nice too because then you don't have to worry about having drapes. Because when you have drapes, then the corner, you can see through some of these just fishing in the So it works out perfect. Very country. Look where the fridge is at. Did you see the bedroom? Yeah. Oh my gosh.